In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up some hierarchies using some of the parenting tools in Softimage XSI. So let's have a look at that. Here I have a simple scene set up. We have three spheres, one large sphere called the master, and then we have two smaller ones called slave one and slave two. What I want to do in this example is have the large master sphere control the small little spheres down here. So wherever the large one goes, the small ones will follow. However, the small ones, if they move away, they will not be able to take the large one with them. Only the large one can tell them where to go. So let's have a look at how to do that. Right now, if I move the large sphere around, nothing happens to the small ones. If I move any of the small ones around, the small ones don't have any influence on any of the other spheres in the scene. Let's change that. I can do this a couple of ways. I can start off with the small spheres or start off with the large sphere. Let's start off with the large sphere it's going to be a little bit simpler to do. Let's click on the large sphere to select it and down here in the MCP underneath the constraint panel we can see that there's a button called parent. Click on parent. Now you can see XSI goes into a, what's called a pick session. Now if we use the left mouse button we can pick the child. The child is what's going to follow the parent around. In this case the parent is the large sphere or the master sphere. The middle mouse button will pick a parent. Since the parent is already selected, there's no point in using the middle mouse button in this case. The right mouse button will cancel out and terminate the pick session and end it immediately. Let's use the left mouse button to pick the children or the slaves of this large master sphere. So let's go ahead and let's select one of the little spheres and the second little sphere. When we're finished, hit the right mouse button to end the pick session. We're done. Now if I select the large sphere, and I move it around, the smaller spheres will follow. However, if I move any of the smaller spheres, they will have absolutely no influence on any of the other spheres in the scene, let alone the master sphere. So in this case, the parent is the only one that's going to be able to move everything around, whether I move it, rotate it, or even scale it. The children, or the child nodes, in this case, these little spheres, will follow along and do whatever the parent says or it does. To end the parent-child relationship is quite simple. Simply select the children nodes here, which are these two small spheres, and down here in the same area where we picked up the parent command, click on the cut button. Now it'll appear as if though nothing happened. However, now if we check, if we grab the large sphere and move it around, it has absolutely no more influence over the smaller spheres. In this case, we've severed the parent-child relationship of these spheres. The shortcut key to do all of this is using the slash key or the forward slash. By using the forward slash it automatically goes into a pick session uh, for the parent button. This allows us to quickly go in here and select what's going to be a parent or a child. And again we can go ahead and select the children, right click to end the pick session, and we're back to square one where the large sphere is the parent of the smaller spheres. That's how you can parent the objects in XSI and cut those relationships.